so here's the metal so I found a discount metal roofing place because I wanted to get even cheaper and this is what they call scratching and as you can see there's some scratches and some dents and uh, the metal roofing cost me a dollar twenty five per lineal foot and uh, it's uh, some of its brand new rolled from the guy because they do um, um, uh, like pole barns and stuff and they have the machine that rolls it out but uh, some of it is you know scrap pieces and there might be varying colors of green but they look the same to me anyway so I got it for really cheap got all the wood from them too it came out to be fourteen hundred dollars for all the materials and they also uh, have all the machines to roll out the uh, drip edge and uh, ease and uh, that kind of stuff so I got all that so I had to pick it up at some a little farm in the middle of nowhere. That's <laughs> pretty cool, actually. So I used the uh, sawzall to cut off the overhang shingles. I'll show and that piece of metal right there is like a little factory drip edge they have, and it only overhangs about one fourth of an inch. So I think that'll be fine. The uh, um, ease rake can cover that, I think. All right, all my wood strips are ready and down. My drip edge is on. I cut a little patch piece for right at the electricity. You don't want to touch any of this crap. Drip edge covers the fascia in this. Doesn't cover the fascia much because this roof is, you know, triple roofed. So we're ready to go. Uh, you put the drip edge on first after you put the wood strips on, of course. And now we're going to put the uh, sheet metal on, and it's a glorious windy day, of course. Well... I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. I'm short about two pieces, two and a half maybe. Probably two. I did uh, 15 pieces and I put enough uh, wood strips down for 50 feet, 50 by 12. It's going good though. It's just uh, running out of daylight at this point. <coughs> and the dew's falling, so the metal's getting a little slippery. But anyway, yeah, I did about a 12 hour day on this. Got up early and started on it. My weekend. <laughs> Yeah, all weekend. So hopefully tomorrow I can finish that. Um, and then I think I'm gonna focus right and focus on putting the wood on everything. I'm just gonna put the wood on that side first. All right, I finished all my wood pieces. Next goes in the valley. And uh, you're gonna wanna use minimum screws just to hold this in place because once you screw in your sheet metal, it'll, uh, your metal roofing panels will go overlap that. So yeah. Less is more, less holes to leak. Anyway, I'm gonna do that. I put my drip edge on and I cut it to overlap in the corner. Anyway, coolest way to cut the metal roofing. First, you need to lay a chalk line, and yes, the chalk line will lay on these ridges. Fairly accurate. After I've made my mark of where the uh, line should be. may not be as uh, bright as it usually is because it kind of just stops here and you know dusts it. Here's a tool I'm using. This is the Matco uh, dr uh, drill, uh, drill operated snips and uh, they work pretty awesome. Oop, when I'm plugged in. Yeah, you can also put them on a cordless drill. And this is how easy it is. Another 10 hour day, and I've gotten this whole quarter done, and I would say about 75% done since I did that yesterday. It takes me about 10 hours to do. Uh, if you think about it, this is almost as big as this section, the whole back section. Just a lot of cuts. This will slow you down. Glorious. So the valley's done, and the next is that side, and then um, I gotta put my piece over this giant jump. Because I didn't have any, they didn't have any longer pieces, so I just take a whole piece and go ooh, over. <laughs> that's 20 inches apart. Yeah, that's great. That's a selling point. <laughs> no one will know, really. People are not as perceptive as I am. Once you've seen, and once you've done the work, you'll notice. But if you haven't, you won't notice. So yeah. All right, it's been kind of hot. Considering last week it was 
downright cold. Anyway, got all my cuts done. I used my special new square. It's a 60 degree angle apparently. About to cut this piece. My ridge cap looks really redneck. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to do here is every one of these joints is going to be siliconed, of course. Yeah. So here's the finished product. I just finished up the last trim piece and uh, I've been putting off putting the, the rake on the edges and what I did was I tucked it underneath the uh, gable piece and then I put a piece on top of it, a scrap piece. So that way it's really protected. And uh, yeah, I mean it took me about 30 hours to do the entire roof which wasn't that bad. Uh, as you can see I went crazy with the silicone. Um, even though this piece goes back about two feet plus, uh, I didn't want water to be able to get underneath that lip and then find a place and then leak somewhere. So I did that continuously anywhere there was a gap I went crazy with the silicone. And that middle ridge cap is actually a piece like this I cut long wise. And yeah, the trim is where they get you. The trim is always more expensive and so I, I didn't figure enough for all the trim I needed and so I ended up having to use whole pieces. And also these pieces weren't long enough, but uh, I ended up saving a lot of money doing it myself and also using what they call scratch and dent pieces anyway. But yeah, everything went together good, no leaks. It's been up for about two months now at this point. Just now got up here and finished up the uh, trim pieces. And so yeah, 